In this tutorial, I'll show you how to model and render a stool. Let's create a cylinder. S and Z to scale in the Z axis. G and Z to move in the Z axis, Control 3 to subdivide, and Control R to add loop cuts. I as in India, to extrude inward. Looks smooth, doesn't it? When we're designing a smooth surface furniture, it's best to use the subsurf modifier. Let's create a plane, press R 90 Y to rotate 90 degrees in the Y axis. S to scale and E to extrude. We can't use the scale tool to properly move the loop cut edge loops. We need to manually place them one by one instead. Select the mesh, Shift D to duplicate R and 90 to rotate it 90 degrees. That happened because the origin was set to the original plane mesh. Let's move the origin to the 3D cursor and try again. That method was the easiest one, but what if we were to modify something later? Suppose we've duplicated 50 meshes that way and we had to modify something? There are two other methods that will create instances instead of duplicates, so that once we modify the original mesh the rest will follow. The first method is instancing with Alt-D, instead of Shift-D, for making duplicates. If we repeat the process with Alt-D, then we can modify the original mesh and Wait a minute, it's not working.
Let's forget the Alt D method for now. Let's use the array modifier instead. We need to have an empty object as an anchor. Please match my settings. That's what we wanted to have. Let's set up the render scene and apply the materials. Please watch a tutorial listed in the description to match my final render settings, as I'm using a cloned look dev HDRI setting. This is the end of the tutorial. Please like and subscribe, if you have enjoyed watching this tutorial. Thank you for watching.